We're starting this how-to with the expectation that City of Heroes, Blender, and Cura are already installed. So here we're installing GL Intercept. The links to all the apps and utilities will be found in the description. Extract the OGL bin. Rename the X64 folder to OGLE. Copy that folder. We'll go to the install GL intercept folder. Inside of plugins, paste that OGL folder that we've copied. We'll go up one level folder above this into the GL intercept root. We'll copy the OpenGL32 DLL. Head over to the Homecoming folder. Go inside of Bin, Win64, and Live, and Paste. We'll copy the supply GL config INI file and paste also into the live folder. That's it for the installation. These steps would be needed for each time we launched and wanted to do an extraction. We'd go into settings, paste or type in use text and Combine, Launch Homecoming, I'm masking my login credentials of course, apologies for the UI difference, I've switched to a 4K monitor. Here we're inserting the no particles one parameter to suppress some of the effects, that makes a cleaner extraction. I like to go into the costume editor, uh, removes any extraneous environments. When I press shift control L, here we see the capture pause the screen. That's how we know it's working. Now we've launched Blender. We will import the extracted file, which will be in OBJ format. We'll travel to the homecoming folder. OGLE.OBJ is the file format. Here I'm pressing tab and selecting face mode. All the faces are selected, so I press M and then B to merge the vertices together. Now I'm removing some extra floating bats. We can see the UI in the background. So I select my character and press Control I to invert and then delete the UI panel. This is my character by itself. I go back to object mode by pressing tab and then selecting object and press control 2 to apply a subdivision smoothing. Now I'm exporting it as an STL format and making sure selection only is selected. I'll now open the STL in Cura. It comes in quite small. I usually scale it up 24 to 2600%. I will now slice the object. And 
can preview the slice view. And we see here the cape and part of the trident are missing. Very thin objects have a tendency to not carry through. So I'll go back into Blender and add thickness to the cape. I'll go back into face mode. I'll convert the triangles to quads. Then I'll select the first row of the cape by selecting the first corner, holding down shift and control, and clicking the next, and pressing control plus to step my way up the polygons of the cape. Now I'll solidify the faces, which adds thickness. I'll dial in the amount of solidifying to what looks good. I do a similar approach to the head of the trident. And have to scale that differently. Sometimes you have to also scale the object up to give it some thickness. Here I'm trying to scale it along one of the axes. I'm going to test it one more time by doing an export. Cura will detect that it has changed, so it gives you the option to reload. Reload, press slice again, and check for improvement. The cape looks really good now, but the trident head does not. So I'll go back into Blender and adjust some more. This time, I'll select the head and apply a subdivide, which adds more polygons. I'll try another export. Slice. It's slightly better, but still not good enough. Those gray areas will be vacancies and will not print cleanly. This time I will stretch it along the axes even more. This should give it enough weight for it to print. Most objects print perfectly fine, but some of the thinner objects you do have to watch out for. This looks pretty good. I'll be printing this out and testing it. Here's another character that I printed and painted with my airbrush. I'm pretty happy with the results, though there's always room for improvement. The more I experiment with this, the more I learn.